Hello, and welcome to the watering hole. Thanks for checking out this clip. Don't forget to like and subscribe because that'll make the baby Jesus cry. And I know how much you guys love making the baby Jesus cry. Anyway, on to our last news item. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> That's okay. This one should be fairly quick. Um, it's it's basically something that I want to cover out ahead of all the creationists getting a hold of this. Um, most silent genetic mutations are harmful, not neutral. So this is some new That's research. quietly terrifying. It is. Um, it doesn't have as many evolutionary implications as you would think. It's more, its implications are more in the study of genetic diseases. Because okay. the thing about genetic, so, okay. I'm I'm getting ahead of myself here. Let's uh, let's talk about this a bit. So um the genetic code is basically when you have 3 amino acids in a row, those 3 acids will code for no, 3 base pairs. Those 3 base pairs will code for an amino acid that goes into a protein. I might have the terminology wrong. I've had some scotch. It's okay. <laughs> Uh, I, I, didn't I could do science past I could high school, just read the so fucking you're, article. You're doing better than me. I could just read the fucking article, but um, yeah. So it's, I'm I'm getting the technical terminolo terminology wrong that I always make sure I get right in my videos. But it's a live stream; people forgive that stuff. Yeah. Um, so there's three base pairs code for a specific. I think it's amino acid. I might have that wrong, but. Um, there there are in the genetic code there are like several different potential combinations of three amino or three base pairs that will code for that one particular amino acid and so you can have a mutation that changes one of those base pairs out and results in the same protein I so see. what they studied here um they found that like a, what they thought were silent mutations where like one of these base pairs would change and you get the same amino acid and the same protein they're finding that 75% of those changes are actually detrimental. Now, to Ooh. caveat this, they found this in yeast and nothing else. It's possible that this okay. does not extrapolate to, ev to everything in the animal kingdom or everything in the plant kingdom. Sure. Sorry, that's one of my kids. I have to say goodnight to Google. Hey, Google. Good night. It plays their little soft music playlist that they like to sleep to, and I forgot to do that earlier. Um, so, yeah, anyway, so um, they found that 75% of these things were actually detrimental. Um, my understanding is that the, um, the reason that it's detrimental is that um, with one of these mutations that was thought in the past to be silent, it actually ends up producing less of the protein. And so okay. it might be producing the same protein in exactly the same way, but it makes less of it for whatever reason. Okay. And that's why it's detrimental. But this, this is just one specific type of mutation. This is not all mutations in general. Mm -hmm. um, oh, let's see. I should, <laughs> we had this conversation off air beforehand. I should have done this one first before the alcohol because it's... <laughs> I'm not getting this out right, but um, yeah, so that's called a synonymous mutation when it, when a uh, base pair changes, but it doesn't change the underlying protein. Mm -hmm. um, and so in previously, it had been thought that synonymous mutations were essentially neutral. You could just ignore them. Um, but because they found that 75% of them are detrimental, this is having massive implications for like where we should look for like genetic diseases. Um, and here we got uh, to their surprise, researchers found that 75.9% of synonymous mutations were significant and not just deleterious, but significantly deleterious, while 1.3% were significantly beneficial, with the rest of them being somewhere in between, probably neutral-ish. Mm -hmm. um, now, this still means that a lot of mutations are neutral. This is not the majority of mutations. This is a specific type of mutation. So most mutations are probably still neutral. So mm -hmm. this probably does not have really all that much of an effect on how we would look at evolutionary biology or evolutionary mutation or mutation from an evolutionary perspective. But I guarantee you creationists are in the near future going to be pulling this out and be like 75% of mutations are significantly deleterious. Therefore evolution can't possibly work. I but, see. 
but they're going to skip the part where it's 75% of a very specific of type an, of as, mutation. You're right. Well, I mean, what's the point of scientific research if oh. you can't grossly misrepresent it? Apparently, I didn't mute myself when I talked to the Google. So now everybody, so someone else's Google went to nighttime mode. I'm sorry. <laughs> I normally mute myself because this is not the first time the kids have come down and been like, hey, can you say goodnight to Google? Um, I'm sorry. Normally I mute myself when I do that. I don't know why I didn't this time. My apologies. Alexa, buy condoms. There, I got the Alexa people now. <laughs> we don't have an Alexa in this room, thank you. <laughs> oh, I got some stories about that that I'm not going to share right now. <laughs> anyway that's basically it is that it's surprising it was unexpected um this potentially could have massive implications for genetic diseases that um like we'll we'll like this will spur further research but also this is one study one study does not necessarily mean that it's always true um and also the implications that it has for actual the actual theory of evolution are fairly minimal. That's basically what I wanted to get out of this. But creationists are going to take it and run with it anyway. Yes. But now I have a video up before they get to that. <laughs> Saying that, ha! That has me drunkenly being like, ha ha ha! <laughs> <laughs> Not all mutations. <laughs> if, hey... After two glasses of scotch, if I'm still capable of saying, like explaining why, if this You're still makes articulate. sense, then we're good.